Good day everyone and welcome to my channel. Uh, this is Sam Ola um, channel, YouTube channel. And the first thing I want to tell you that if you have not even subscribed to my um, channel, I want you to go straight down and subscribe. And right now I'm going to give you the paper that has been happening. I can tell you that this um, week 5 is one of the weeks by which I have really enjoyed most. Because I can tell you the fact that I have not been sleeping for the past 3 days. I think maybe I've been sleeping for like three or four hours in a day because both morning, afternoon and evening has been just been entertaining in the big brother house. And I want to give you just um a, a, a little clip of what has been happening. Remember on Sunday was when we had um the the elimination sorry, the eviction of um Thelma and Nelson. And as you could remember they were not really happy about it and they showed their design about it, but the, what what can they do? They are, they put the lowest um vote from all the people that voted throughout the country. So with that, Thelma and Nelson has to go. So the whole week this is week five and the week five started in in a very slow uh, mode. As you can remember, that Big Brother has told them that I'm sorry, Ebuka has told us on Sunday that we should be expecting something spectacular this week, especially on Tuesday night. So well, we were waiting for that. So on Monday when they had the 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 HOH um game that was played, um all the all the housemates contested for it and in the long run it was our brother, brother Frog and <laughs> Jeff that was in the final um stage. And as they were trying to fight for it in the long run, Jeff uh, sorry, um Frog won the the HOH contest and for the for the week five um fraud become the head of house for the big brother um niger house pepper them gang so fraud was very happy for that and he could just see that at least for the first time he will be um having the power to dictate whatever he wants and remember with that he cannot be nominated for eviction so that was how everything just went on um monday and and uh, after they have gone for their for their normal routine and the the tax that will be um done so be, but before that on monday evening that was when there was um, time for them to do nomination as to remember that uh, that on monday they will have to nominate uh, the the housemates that will be up for eviction for on sunday so um big brother at seven o'clock nigerian time big brother started calling all of them inside to make their nomination uh, when he, he called them um, Jeff, um, sorry, when the brother called Kathy, Kathy said he was nominating, sorry, Kathy nominated Esther and Jackie. Um, Esther also um, nominated Jeff and Omar Shola. Um, Diana nominated um, Jeff and Sheyi. Omar Shola nominated Mike and, I and Ike. Um, Sheyi nominated Jeff and Tasha. Big brother was now asking Sheyi that why would he nominate Tasha? Like, I think both of you just came back from the I'm taking room the the previous week. Just like she is noticing that Sasha is becoming his greatest weakness in the house, and he doesn't want to fall. So that is the reason why he just don't want to have um her around. As you can remember, um, she has has did something. Remember that um Saturday night during that um <laughs> during the clubbing, he did something very spectacular in which um this guy uh what's her name. That you asked one that that thing that he did that he that he knew that he's not supposed to be doing that that she as Jackie has been the one watching his back and if he, he, he should know that at every point in time she is watching out for him so Jackie um Jackie told that to to um she and she apologized that she should not worry that he will make sure that. That did not happen again. I think that is the reason why she has to nominate Sasha because I think she is now falling for this girl. She is falling for this girl, and this thing was not continue. So she was just looking for a way to like send Sasha out. But mm -hmm. you know, Sasha has a lot of um followers and people that will vote um, for her. And also, when Matthew was called by people that Matthew nominated Mike and Omar Shola, like. He just don't like he, she said oh, martial arts is too loud and it's too um it's too loud and he doesn't want um want him to be talking more in the house. So when people are called Gedoni, Gedoni um picked no, sorry, nominated Jeff and 
and Mike. When Ike also was called, Ike also nominated Jeff and Jackie. And when Jackie was called, Jackie nominated Jeff and Omashola. And when Floyd was called upon, Jeff nominated um sorry, when uh, Floyd was called upon, Floyd nominated Jeff and Sadi. And when Sadi was called upon, Sadi even nominated Ike. So by the time um Jeff was also called upon, Jeff nominated Sadi and Sasha. So at the end of the nomination, Big Brother called everybody back to the to the um, lounge and he, he called some names out that those are the names that will be up for eviction for week five. And he called Jeff, he called Omar Shola, he called Mike and he called Tasha. Or like Tasha has been <laughs> on this um, eviction for the back to back, back to back for the past three weeks. Right, well, let's still see whether um whether she can still um, overcome that this week because uh, each each week that she has been nominated for eviction, she has always been coming out stronger and stronger. And we could see that her followers have always been increasing each day. So that is how that I remember what happened on Monday. So now to the um, next day, we could see that now we now have the the, the new HOH, which is our brother brother fraud and he has started um, showing around that he's the HOH having his badge with him and going going around talking at least now he, he has power over the, the Esther and all what she has been doing for him and so we was just like okay fine let's see what's happening remember that um, Ike and fraud did something last week in which um, Ike tried to but I came <laughs> to event for for his friend Fraud, just to go and steal um, Esther's um, coin. I remember, you remember that it was even Mercy that stole it and now gave it to you. So I think, hope oh, this issue is not turning to, to the issue of um, uh, Adam and Eve now, that Eve took the something and now gave it to Adam. Well, maybe that is what is happening. We will still see what will happen. And um, because of that, they, they started the, the old, the old day, went for their own gym and Every other thing like that. After the nomination um, went, um, went that was in on Monday on Tuesday. Now it's time for the task. So Big Brother gave them two tasks. Task. So first of all, the you remember the the title for the week that this week five is living in the 1950s. So he, uh, Big Brother wanted them to um, do everything as if to picture themselves being in the 1950s. And even the big brother had to ask them categorically about what they are um, thinking, about what happened and the life in 1950s. Although majority of them said they don't have any vivid idea of what happened, it was E.K. that was able to say that at least he, he, he was um, thinking about how it is in the United States, where he came, where he came from, that maybe the time by which people are, um, guys are wearing car hats and the, and the stuff. So because of that, a lot of them are trying to like have a mental picture of what could have transpired or what could have happened in the 1950s. But not all of them really had it. And she was even thinking about the time of his um, pre-colonial master. You remember that his um, the grandson of Abuelo was still trying to make references to when his grandfather was trying to fight for the um, for the emancipation and for 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 bringing forth of another nation. And um, Mercy was trying to talk about when. Nigeria was still in a very um, in a very developing stages. So that was how that that diary session went. So Big Brother said they should all of them to have um they should write a letter or sorry a novel that was stated or that, that was staged in the 1950s. And also on tour they during their their presentation they are going to present a, a set of attires in which people were during that time in 1950s. So um, Big Brother told them that they are going to be divided into, they should be divided into three groups and in which our brother, Brother Fraud, called three people to um, be the group leader and in which he called um, Tasha, Mercy and Gedoni. That the three of them should be the leaders and three of them should choose whomever they want in their group. And by the time um, Tasha um, was, 
time to make the nomination. She did not pick. She did not pick. Um, Kathy, because she was thinking that Gedoni is going to pick Kathy, but not knowing that Gedoni was not going to pick Kathy. So in the long run, Gedoni did not pick Kathy. So um, Tasha had no choice than to pick her. So in the long run, they have like five people in in a row. Like uh, they are, they have um because the number of the number of um, housemates are fourteen, which make it uneven. So we have a group that has um two groups have five in their in their um in their group. That is fourteen. That is um sorry four 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 four. That is um twelve. So a group has five. Another another group has five. So we have five five and four. So that is. <clears throat> the, the the number of um, people that are there. So one group that is the, the, the last group, the Gedoni group is in is in um in short of one um person. So that was how they were able to just put themselves into pass and they started the whole work. But at seven o'clock in the evening something happened. We just saw the house like the, the bell rang and the door just opened and one beautiful lady just entered. Like her name is Benita. She is the new housemate. She's being introduced to the Pepe Dem Gang house. As in this girl was just too much. All of them were surprised that wow, they're having another uh, contestant inside the house. Not long after, I think like five minutes after, and that uh, the door um, the doorbell rang again and. Elodona also came, like they were just like, wow, they could not just believe their eyes. So all of them, I, I think Kathy was the one that just came and now tried showing them all around, showing their, showing their, their houses, the, sorry, their rooms, their bathrooms, the dining and everything. She was just taking uh, all around and like showing them what the, the, the um, what they should expect. And our brother, Mashallah, just came out. Like, she, he was just too happy. Like, you remember his mother has been telling them, um, Big Brother, the other time that Konjuma won't kill him, or that he just need a lady in the house. So, our brother, Shapali, just went and attached himself to her. Now, even knowing that she is from Bori, where she, where Mashallah is from. So, he just too happy to, like, have her around in, in, sorry, in his means. And he was even the one that um, went to, Take a bag from the storeroom and take it towards um, his bed. Like he, he wants her to be sitting beside his bed. So that was how that one was happening. So Big Brother now called some of the housemates to the diary session, and like all of them were not happy with it. They are just like they are not happy when they are thinking that they have gotten over the old stuff. Now Big Brother. Has like Big Brother introduced two new athletes in, in the last week in which um, I'm talking about Sheyi and Sasha that was readmitted from the sick room. They were just like they are not happy with it and everything. But who are we to be, be to blame Big Brother? Big Brother is just playing the way he he wants it. And these guys are not just really performing what is really happening. They were just like, what is the Big Brother really doing with all these things? Fine, well, as that one was going on, um our brother, brother Frost just called everybody. You know he's the new head, head of us now. Like he just called everybody, like everybody come around and like meet these new people that just entered and like, okay, now let everybody introduce themselves. So it was our brother Frost that first introduced himself. He said, well, I'm Frost, I'm the current HOH, that is head of us. Well, <laughs> the next person to introduce himself was Jeff. Jeff was like, okay, my name is Jeff and I'm the with one end of us like well really <laughs> like it was just like every one of them now think that okay fine what they should be uh, what they should be introducing to themselves is like they should be introducing themselves with what they have achieved in the house so when it was the time of um our brother uh, sorry <laughs> when it was the time of Sadi Sadi said well my name is Sadi I'm the constant winner like you know like it was just trying to tell them that he has been winning things so he has been a constant winner in the house she was like, okay, she come like I'm she, I'm the sugar daddy, aka the, the sugar daddy, and the suicidal beto. <laughs> when I remember what he did all that time now. Like when he had the beto to, to remove himself from nomination, he did not and like that's why I call himself a suicidal um 
um, Veto power holder. So when it was Tasha, Tasha said, well, my arm Tasha, the characteristics of a winner. Remember that Tasha on Sunday? Like Tasha, <laughs> that is Tasha on her own. Well, he came, he came, he said, it's the easy go of the whole house. And um, Mike come, uh, came around and said, well, he's the president of the cruise ship. I don't know what is this cruise ship all about. Well, <laughs> well, um, he, he, he said he's the president of the cruise ship, which I think um, our brother, brother Jeff, is not really in um, in line with. Jeff just like okay, he's the president of the cruise ship, and he's the one that has the right to nominate another person. And he said he is going to be nominating Diane as the new uh, president of the cruise ship. So when the when it was um, Diane turned to to talk about herself, she said she's Diane and she is the current president of the cruise um, cruise gang. Like ah oh okay no alarm. So Kathy Kathy some Kathy said well she is Kathy and a cup of Kathy Kathy that everybody in the house just need a cup a cup of Kathy and. She also introduced herself as a powerless veto user. Remember, it was during her time, that was last week, week four, was the time that she was a veto um, power holder, but she could not use because all of them were were involved to be were involved to be um, evicted. So all of them were were to be evicted. So she was a powerless um, veto veto user, veto power user. So that was that. Esther was like, okay. When it was Esther said, Esther said, I'm Esther, I'm the first female HOH, that is head of house, during the Pepper Game, Pepper Game Gang um, season 4. Omar Shola himself said, he's the of the house. He's, uh, he's the first person to lose the coins and he's, and he's the he's, he's the he's the richest guy inside the house. Remember, he's the one that's been winning coins and, and the stuff and like his first person to lose coins, and even right now is the one that has the highest amount of coins. You remember, he was, he was the one that won the um, the task for the last week in which he, he came first. And Benita, um, when it was Benita's time, she was like, like she's the honorary member of the Pepe Dem gang. That she's she has them two, she she already has two children, and she's the first invader, like invader of the Pepe Dem gang out. So and Mercy was also um, called upon. Mercy introduced herself that she is the uh, Mercy, the Lamborghini. Remember, <laughs> she has been calling herself Lamborghini of the house. So that was how the all of them um introduced themselves. And not long, not long later, um, um the H O H. I'm talking about fraud. Like assigned them also to group. The there's a particular group that I've not really um completed. And that's the group of um. Gedoni, Devon, and the, the, the next one was given to uh, Mercy's group. So that was how the night ended. So now, cross to um, of Wednesday. Remember, they have started writing the love letter in which um, the in which people have provided the typewriter, in which they were going to be using that to type. So all that love letter will be typed, will be used, uh, will use typewriter and to be said, and also people that are giving them clothes in which they are going to um so so as they are start as they started doing that on one of the on one of the morning after they have gone for the 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 normal exercise and they are back they started working on the clothes it was just really really, really training for them they they started it in the morning and even throughout the night they are not yet through so they continue working on it because the whole project is sapping their energy, sapping their, twisting their brain because they just have to do everything at the same time. So after they, after they have done that, they are like, okay, what is the next thing for them to do in the evening? As they are trying to like ameliorate and see how to get everything together. At 7 o'clock on Wednesday, another bell rang. And we saw one another lady entering. Her name is NG. NK just entered like wow. As she entered, no none of them could just even go and greet her because they are just too tired and packed out. And not long after, Joe also entered like wow. So 
we now have another two new housemates making the new housemates number um, moving up to four. Remember yesterday we had um, Benita and Elozona. Now we are having NK and Joe. And when NK just entered, she was just smiling with her smile. All the guys they could not even they, they, they their energy is tapped already that they could not even go out and um and greet her. So she was just like move taken around by Cassie and later being introduced to the head of house, which is fraud. So later on, um, after Joe also has entered and they have welcomed him too, although not all of them welcomed them, because they, I think they are not, I think these housemates are not happy that they are having new people that are contesting, contesting with them. So we could see now that we now have four people, so that, that makes it even, so they were able to distribute the other two people to the other group. So now we now have 18 housemates and you know we have three groups, so we now have five. Uh, sorry, we now have six six persons in inside each group. So making everything balanced. So um, the HOH has six them to the house, and that was on Wednesday um, evening. So after some time, DJ called some of them to the um, to the to the room and talked with them, and they were able to express their own mind. Like it got to a point by which Diane was just like. She's not even she's not even afraid of anything that will happen again. That Big Brother has been able to twist their their head to the extent that they cannot even that she cannot even um imagine whatever thing that could happen. That anything that happens from there, she is just okay with it. That even if Big Brother wants, let him bring another twenty one new twenty one new house um house me that she's not even she's not she's not um she's not she's not bothered at all like. These ladies are just having their energy being sapped. So as the evening was going, uh, you know, Diane and um, Esther was having their own talk outside. The, the, our brother Mike is talking with some of them, and our brother um, Omoshala has taken the old, has taken this um, issue of Benita into his um, personal matter. And our HOH, what is he doing with these two ladies? I think, <laughs> I think after Esther has treated him the way she she treated him. I think um our brother Ford is really wants to shoot shot in one of these ladies um side. So well let's we will still see that later because he's has been using this H O H issue to be to be to be I don't know. It shall sh using that one to get the affection of this lady. But well let's see what's happen. And another thing I'm seeing that he hope it's not that people that brought these ladies in to do some some real thing because I could remember was it not um um Elozona that was telling uh that was telling Kabi that she came in for us like what does that mean I don't want <laughs> they're going to be prepared they're going to be prepared and another thing is that I'm seeing Jackie turning towards this Joe guy as in what is going on oh Jackie remember you have relationship outside you so don't don't let love enter your head for so forget the person you are you said you are dating for the past seven years well if you'll be able to sustain within the in in days to come and after after that now it was night these people are not yet through with their love letters uh, sorry with the novel that right writing neither were they through with the clothes they were um they were sewing so some of the new housemates um i'm talking about Benita as um, she said she's a fashion designer, so she really had a kind of um, knowledge on how to sew clothes, cut clothes, and everything. So she's in Mercy's um, group where we have a martial arts team. But something happened around 3 30 a.m. I think I was even dozing because I was I couldn't I couldn't fathom myself just giving the my TV for five seconds because I was just like if I do this, I'm going to miss some things. As I was just listening, as we are just listening, just I think it was Cheyi and Mike that was talking in the in the garden. But I was just hearing shouts like, who is who the hell is shouting? As I would just say, they just said, wow, is Omar Shola again? No. Omar Shola has started ranting and cursing and shouting. Like, okay, camera, please take us to what is happening inside the house and let's see what is happening. Camera is not going there. It was Jeb, sorry, it was um, what that was saying that was talking at. He doesn't really understand what is wrong with this brother, um, brother Omar Shola. That Omar Shola is just like 
it's 16 years old, yet he will be as big as 26. Like it's just like Omar Shola has 26 year old brain inside a 38 year old body. I was just like, wow, fraud. And you are saying that Omar Shola is your friend. See what you are saying to other people about this same guy, Omar Shola. We're like, you shouldn't be abusing this guy like this. Like, how will you call him that? He's, he has a 38 year old brain. Sorry, 40 years old brain. Inside the 38 years old, um, but inside the 26 year old body, like, wow. Well, after that, the camera was just at least the, the cameraman was was um, nice enough to take us to what is happening. It was a martial art that was ranting for Mercy. That Mercy is the, is the leader of the group, but she has not been contributing since that she has just been sleeping around while herself and the new housemate, which is um, Benita, has been working tires, tirelessly. That Mercy is not just doing anything, she has just been flocking around with. A boyfriend and not even um, contributing and mercy too was very very and then she was also causing him from the, from the other side where she is to change her clothes like she's just not too happy with how much life is, is, is doing and that she regretted even um, putting him in their group so that was just what was happening like they were just causing and people are trying to um, ameliorate and try to separate and just not them not they don't want it to uh, to turn into a physical fight so that was exactly what happened during the um night and i can tell you like around like 4 4 30 i had no choice i just slept off i just slept off and today is, um is a today is Thursday, and i'm telling you what is going to happen today during the presentation i'm going to give you everything as the us and i still want to see what is going to happen with our new assets which is nk and joe you know they just entered yesterday and I want to see how they are going to be functioning in this big brother house. Like I told you, this thing is, is, is preparing me more and more and more because big brother is just busting my brain. It's just busting my brain because I can't even imagine what will happen today. Well, my thing is on. I'm going to go there and I'm still going to give you the gist about what happened today. Even till the last time. And what I wanted to do, like I told you, um, what, what I, I have been a little bit busy for because of the, the football um, issue, like uh, the AFCON, that's the reason I've not been really participating more in Big Brother. But right now, I'm, I'm for you now. I'm going to give you as the day out, as in preparing you as everything they be happening for Big Brother House. Remember, my, um, remember to subscribe right now and click on the bell icon for notification because if you click on the notification as I'm uploading all the um, latest and the updates, You'll be seeing it live. So um, let me go now and watch it so that I can give you more of this. So um, till I meet you next time, I'm Samola, this is Samola channel. And thank you for listening. Bye.